What's going on everyone? Welcome back to OSN. Today we are bringing you our beginner guide to Atlas. So a lot of people have been thinking, Dubu's always banned, who do I pick? Uh, maybe give Atlas a try, you know? So maybe you don't know how to play him, or maybe you're a Atlas player and you're like, hey, I feel like I'm missing something that I see other people doing. Well then this is going to be the guide for you. Atlas is hands down the hardest goalie in my opinion because his entire kit is reliant on predictions. His primary and secondary ability have a decent amount of delay on them and a special can be easily wasted if not timed correctly. We've all seen those goals that are scored on Atlas where he's using an ability when he could have just struck it because they didn't play around the delay. Atlas's primary ability astral projection is a low range arc projectile that stays in place for a few moments and deals a medium hit to anything it touches. It's great at cutting off strikers and the core alike. His secondary ability is Cosmic Expanse. This creates a fast expanding ring of light that will disappear if it does not collide with anything and it also deals a medium hit to anything it touches. It's good if you think the enemy is going to be fighting near you or your goal for an extended period. His special ability is called Celestial Intervention. He creates a field that not only heals but also rescues anyone on your team who gets knocked out and while it's up, it also restores 15% of their stagger bar. It only works once per striker per cast though. Now you may have noticed already, there were not any movement abilities in his kit. So if that was you, you've won a prize, you've found what his one glaring weakness is. He's also quite slow. While every other goalie has a movement ability to help them reposition, Atlas just doesn't. By the way, before we continue, if you guys found this guide useful so far, go ahead and hit the like button down below so that this can spread to other people, because we all hate having bad Atlases on our team. That was one of our primary motivations for making this. Now let's move on to how to play Atlas. As we said before, Atlas's kit is entirely reliant on predictions. His primary has a short cast time and can be missed. His secondary builds up in size and if you mistime it, it'll fizzle out, and if you use his special too early, the enemies can just keep damaging your forwards and wait it out before knocking them out. Do keep in mind though, Atlas is really good whenever there are really big goal scoring opportunities because he doesn't really contribute that much to the midfield ball control, but once it's in your zone, it's really up to you to stop it and you can't really blame your teammates. What we mean by this is that Atlas has very good zone control. What he lacks up for in mobility, he makes up for by having an extra area defense move. This makes him really frustrating to deal with if you're a forward, if you're facing someone who has mastered Atlas's kit. You will want to use the primary preemptively against forwards trying to get into your face with a core. You could also use it against a bully brawlers that just sit on top of you, and his secondary is used in basically the same way as his primary. Just use it to prevent scoring opportunities. It's as simple as that, right? Now the tricky part of his kit is his special. You just can't be too obvious with your special because it's very easy for people to stop trying to knock out your teammates and instead just lower their health bars instead. After the timer runs out, they could then proceed to just knock them out. So obviously timing is really tricky and you're just gonna have to practice, but one tip I found useful is that whenever your teammate are going near the edge of the map, that's when you have to be ready on the trigger just in case some random projectile flies at them and knocks them out even if they're at full health. You could essentially save your teammates from making those really dumb plays that they normally do. You could also just use it to heal people. It's a little less effective, but let's say one of your teammates is staggered and they're very crucial in either your ball control or they have their cooldowns ready so they really want to get into the action. You could just drop your ultimate to heal them so they could get right back to fighting right after. Just be careful when you do this because sometimes the enemies can see that and then they save their cooldowns and then wait until the ultimate is down and then it's free season to knock out after that. Next we'll go into Atlas's trainings. So just like every other goalie, running built different is almost a must. The increased size is just too good to pass up on and the extra core damage is just a bonus. Creator of durable things is pretty non-negotiable as well because 75% longer creations when you've got three creations, yeah, that's pretty much a must. For your third training, we can get into a little bit of a more situational or personal preference choice. Unstoppable, extra special, and well-fed are my top three picks right now. Unstoppable is pretty broken because the haste and knockback resistance is huge, especially when he's a slow striker to begin with. Extra special is really good if they have a heavy brawler comp, and if you think you're going to need to have your special on a lower cooldown. So if you see Juliet and X on the enemy team, or like Drekkar, maybe you want to make your teammates feel a little extra special as well. Well-fed is the last one I'd recommend to beginner players, and the reason why is because it's good 
against heavy brawler comps, and it scales you really well into the late game. However, compared to extra special, you take well fed when you think more people are going to be focusing you. I will say though, in the recent patches since brawlers have been getting nerfed, it's not as common to face the people who just love the Super Smash Bros approach. With good practice and timing, I hope that you guys will be shutting everyone down in no time because I know as a forward player myself, Atlas is one of the hardest, if not the hardest goalie to score on. After watching all of this, if Atlas is not the goalie for you, why not check out our other beginner guide on Dubu instead? While they fill a similar role as a big goalie in the back, Dubu's kit works a lot differently because he can control the ball a little bit before it gets right to his net, and he also has a dash. But you guys can check that out by clicking this card right here. Apart from that, we hope to see you all in our next video.